Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico. We're going to get right into it. Uh, top 133 artists. So this is number 109. And what's my criteria? It's down below in the notes. But basically, I made an 80-minute playlist for all of these artists. Listened to them for a year, ranked them, re-ranked them. And then I consider the live experience. Do I read magazines, articles about them? You know, if I get a magazine, do I read that article? Do I buy a book? And so 109, I'm very excited about this because this is someone who spans about four generations easily. So this artist was born the same year as my mother and father. Yeah. So I... You know, so my father was a big fan of this artist. And then I became a big fan. And now the younger generations are a big fan. 1954, 1954 to 2003, he recorded for 49 years until he passed away at the age of 71. Rest in peace. Uh, my father liked him. I like him. The kids like him. Kids. Can I say kids? The kids. Anyway, you know, just uh, he became hip in the 21st century. So I'll give you a hint. I'm wearing a black shirt. Yeah. Got it figured out. The man in black. Yeah. Johnny Cash. Love Johnny Cash. And never got to see him in concert. Uh, I've seen a few country artists, but never got to see him. Uh, I, I wish I had. So I'm going to show you some of my physical uh, collection. He, by the way, was born in Kingsland, Arkansas, which is a town now of less than 500 people. And yeah, rural Arkansas, and he became a big star, but this is one of my father's records. This is Train of Love on the original Sun Records label, 45, backed with There You Go. But anyway, that's really cool to have an original Sun Records 45, 1956. So I inherited that from my father, rest in peace. He outlived Johnny Cash by how many years? By... 14 years, yeah. So anyway, th 13 years, I guess. But anyway, here are some of the others that I have. I have, I have um, remastered versions of the prison albums, and these are special to me because I grew up listening to these as a kid, especially San Quentin. But these are the um, Columbia Legacy series, Folsom, Johnny Cash at Folsom Prison. And Johnny Cash at San Quentin, which has bonus tracks, which is really nice. It's also unedited, so there's a little bit of language in it. But these uh, Legacy series are, are really cool. And then, you know, of course, Rick Rubin saved his career. And I love everything on, on his label. So I have a few of those CDs. I have American Recordings. That's the first one. That Rick Rubin did with Delilah's, Delilah's Gone. Really cool. Um, I've got Unchained, which features Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. So that's a really cool album. Not, not, not the best in the series, but then I have American Four, The Man Comes Around with the uh, song Hurt that really skyrocketed him. And that includes the DVD bonus. So this is the DVD of the song Hurt, which is really cool. And then I've got my mother's hymn book. And I've also got uh, Rules of Travel by Roseanne Cash, his daughter, who I'm also a fan of. So why do I like Johnny Cash? Well, obviously, attitude, right? and that baritone voice. Uh, but he's just one of the best country stars, you know, and he was very authentic, and he could do anything. He could do some uh, challenging music, but then turn around and do spirituals and gospel, and, yeah, he just had a wide range. And the fact that he appeals 
to so many different generations, I think, is a testament to his art. And God bless Rick Rubin for resurrecting his career. I love I love those uh, 21st century albums. So that's it. Let me know what you think. Um, Man in Black right here, trying, trying to have the look. And appreciate your joining me. Hit that like or subscribe button. I have a Patreon page too if you're interested. It's in the link below. Oh, and I've got a playlist. You guys can uh, go to my uh, Wallbanger Reaction Spotify account and and play my 80-minute Johnny Cash playlist. I think it's really good. Songs like Big River and Cry, Cry, Cry and Folsom Prison Blues and I Walk the Line and Hurt, of course, and I See a Darkness and all these. Uh, so God's Gonna Cut Me Down. God's Gonna Cut You Down. A lot of really good um, songs on there and hey porter great uh, playlist anyway thanks for joining me and as we say here in bonita mexico buen dia <laughs>